Hey guys, so I want to come up here and make another quick video. Um, I was going over my DNA results again um, on GEDmatch. I uploaded my raw DNA from 23andMe to GEDmatch <clears throat> and I was going over my results again. And so I came across some things that were interesting, um, some things I didn't see before or I don't remember seeing before. Um, and I was pretty excited. I saw that I had... Um, um, some Zulu in me. I didn't think I had that before. Um, and, across, and of course, I came across some Hosa and all that other good stuff. But this is going to be a video um, piggybacking on a video that I made last summer about African Americans and Native American um, ancestry or American Indian ancestry. <clears throat> um, and a lot of times when we say that as African Americans, most people deny it. They laugh at us. They scoff at us as if they know it's floating in our blood. They, they trace our ancestry themselves or they've done our own DNA test. But I know for a fact that I have Native American blood in me. As I said before, my mother, in my other video, my mother's father is of Native American ancestry and his mother is of Native, was of Native American ancestry. Unfortunately, I did not get to meet neither one of them. But um, I have seen pictures of them and my grandfather is copper colored with um, thick wavy bushy hair just like my mother. So anyway, what you see before you is my results on GEDmatch.com and of course you can see the Sub-Saharan, Paleo, African, all that other good stuff. Um, but anyway, as you scroll down you can see uh, population now of course this someone explained to me that they test your population against your DNA against different population pools and this one looked like it was tested against 257 uh, populations and it said um, they the comment also told me the commenter told me that the top 20 are the ones that are more likely um, who you are so of course as you can see Limba who are in Zimbabwe South Africa the Bantu Yoruba Mandinka Biaka Pygmies Ethiopian Lumbi um, Ethiopian Jew Moroccan Mozabite Yemen, Puerto Rican, Egyptian, Australian, Jordanian, Serrano. And then this is where it gets interesting. I saw the Maywak and I saw Mexican. I saw Costa Noan. Um, the Mexican is probably coming from, my guess would be um, the Olmec heads. Um, possibly from that lineage. I know that I read before that um, the XI in Mexican, which would be, would be pronounced as Z, I believe, um, is an Olmec word. But I wasn't sure if oh, I thought Elmex might have been of uh, hemetic ancestry, but um, you know I'm not really sure. So anyway, that's probably where that could be coming from. But I looked into the my walk because I wasn't sure what that was, and so I googled it, and here's what it is. These are the my walk tribes. These are the my walk native Indians. I've seen this picture a dozen times before. I never realized who they. I never really knew who they were. I just kind of figured they were some people from uh, native people from the California area. And as you can see, these are dark-skinned people. They are very melanated. They also have the tribal hat that reminds me of the, the Negroes for Sale ad here. Okay, here we go. As you can see here, it has the feathered hat on them as well as a, as well and the feathered uh, skirts, which is the exact same setup um, here. Feathered skirts and then feathered hats. Um, and then I did a little research on them and it says the Miwok are Native Americans, related to Native Americans, indigenous to Northern California or what is called Northern California. Um, and then it says here, um, anthropologists commonly divided the Miwok into four geographically and culturally diverse ethnic subgroups. These distinctions were unknown among the Miwok before European contact. So um, once again, you know, we were one group of people before Europeans came into contact with us. Like we weren't African-American, we weren't, you know, uh, Jamaican and uh, uh, Nigerian. You know, we all come from one blood. We all come from the same ancestors, um, but today, we think that we're different you know one will say one may say they're jamaican another may say they're trinidadian and i think i get that there's differences in the culture somewhat but we're all together still one blood uh we're not classified i mean we we are classified the way the europeans classified us so the next thing that i realized going back to this was the constant costa noan 
I had no clue what that was either. So I Googled that and oh, here's a, here's that picture again. This one, this time is in color. And as you can see, once again, Native American, uh, copper colored indigenous people. Um, they are definitely melanated people. Um, but constant knowing are these people here. And let me go back just so you all can see what I am um, originally saw. Okay, so the Coast Sinoan is synonymous with the Ohlone or Ohlone people, which are also um, Native American indigenous people of Northern California. Um, if you Google their images, uh, here you can see copper colored melanated people, copper colored melanated people, copper colored melanated people. And where I'm getting this from is from Webster's Dictionary, 1828. If you look up the word American, it says here a Native America, a Native of America, originally applied to the Aboriginals or copper-colored races found here by the Europeans, but now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America. Anyway, so as you can see, copper-colored. So the Mongoloid Chinese. Um, you know asian bearing straight invader these people are not native to this land they come from asia that's why you can look at them and see like oh my goodness they kind of look like um chinese people they look like asians they are essentially that asians okay they are not true native american people this is not to be disrespectful to anyone who may come from this line of descent or descendancy but the truth is the truth i didn't write it i didn't make it it is what it is so i just wanted to do that quick video um because a lot of people always scoff and laugh at us but i know who i am i know what i am um i didn't know i was hebrew until recently but i knew that i had native american blood in me and um no one's going to change that or take that from me and here's another image that i found very interesting so never let anyone tell you who you are, what they think you are. Um, you know who you are and uh, continue to do your research, continue to uh, trace your ancestry, trace your lineage back and, and find out more about who you are. It is important, especially for us, for us in, a, in a, you know, America. Um, I, I believe that we are some of the most deprived people. Anyway, my time is running out, but I wanted to say that, you know, it's important to know who you are, do your study, uh, find out, you know, what's running through your blood and what's in your veins. And don't be afraid to, um, to claim that and to, and, to, and to, or reclaim that and to live it out. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, I'm just going to say shalom.